Hey, it's the Droid Guy here, and we are taking a look at the WIM module. Now, Android watches are all the rage right now. You know, we've heard about and seen the Meta watch in action, but the WIM module, even though it's in this watch band, it is really not a watch. It's this little square module that could be put into a watch band, of course. It could also be put onto the back of a stethoscope. It could be put into a pendant. It could be put into a running outfit. It could be even put into a wheelchair. Uh, WIM is a company that works on wearable technologies, and it's all based around this module. Right back here, you're going to see some uh, dock pins so that you can dock the module and, and access it in other ways. But it's running on Android 2.1 which is powering the, app, uh, the processor, the applications processor that's inside of this module that is uh, in a watch band at the moment. And, you know, a lot of people will be using it as a watch probably, but it's got Android apps that are built specifically for this with the ability to swipe to close and things like that. One of the really coolest things that we saw on our friend Ted's watch is the coffee card. You can actually put your Starbucks card right on your wrist and we're not going to open it on the video because his coffee card is actually loaded. It's got an RSS reader, uh, d different ways to do data, and if you pair it with an Android device, you can use it for rejecting calls or sending them to voicemail. You can actually use it for SMS and they have some canned responses already made. Uh, you can even develop your own app where you make your own canned responses. But that's if you connect it to an Android phone. If you connect it to an iPhone, you can still see who's calling and reject the call to voicemail. Uh, so we can share some Android love with our, with our iPhone family. There's an ARM 11 processor that's that's handling all the applications processing in the WIM module. Right now it's in on mode. As you can see, it's backlit and the processor's actually running. You can put it into standby mode and then what's gonna happen is every minute or once a minute, the ARM 11 processor is gonna wake itself up. It's gonna check the time so that you, you're keeping the correct time. And it can even uh, pull from whatever you tell it to down here for data. If you see Ted's got an appointment at one o'clock, you can put your calendar there and RSS feed. Um, when you connect it to a phone, text messages, and there's your RSS reader right there. It's got maps, and uh, we were talking about email. It doesn't have email because email is not a really a great use case. Everybody's got a phone that does email, but in talking about text messages and, and being uh, uh, connected to a phone, you can easily you know, write back with a canned response or, or you know, design your own app to get your, your MMS messages delivered right to this this beautiful display here. There's no bounds to what end, end to what you can do with this thing because like we said in the very beginning and if you're just like not paying attention and catching this right now the WIM module is a module it's not n not just a watch. You can put this in a lot of things and do a lot of different use cases for something this size. If you're a developer looking to develop on something like this, you need to check out WIM.com, W-I-M-M.com. If you want a watch to develop on, we highly encourage you to sign up for their email list, and you'll be one of the first to know when the watch is available and how you can buy it, and then you can you know, work with other WIM developers to find out the best cases, the best apps, the best things that you can do with the WIM module. This is the WIM module, and it's an Android wearable from WIM, WIM.com, W-I-M-M.com. I'm the Droid Guy live at CTI Enterprise and Applications in San Diego. Thanks for watching.